Hello, welcome to another episode of Fact and Fiction. I am Brody. Little Wayne's on a t shirt. Ah. <laughs> Oh, P.S. G. Smith is awesome. Welcome to episode 18, Acceptable Clothing. I do not consider myself to be a fashion icon of any sort, nor do I think that I dress exceptionally well on a daily basis. But there's certain things about clothing that are just unacceptable. So, today's fact is that if you don't use these advices for clothing, then you are a baby. First tip, do not wear a backwards hat every single day because you look like a tool. Women, I know that you love the leggings things now. Like, the leggings are awesome. Everybody wants to wear leggings. And originally it was like, oh, wear leggings underneath my dress or my skirt. It'll be awesome. But you, now, just wearing leggings by themselves, you can't wear leggings by themselves. That's just dumb. You look, you look stupid with the leggings by themselves. You're just asking to, like, have... Guys just like ogle the death out of you because it, they're like super skin tight. It's like you're not wearing any clothes at all. Besides, you went from being a white girl to a black girl beside your feet. Okay, stop wearing the leggings by themselves. If you want to wear it under something, that's fine. It's not by themselves. It's silly. The number one advice though goes out to the guys, and it's a two-parter. Part one. Never pop your collar. You've got to be kidding me. There's kids in the middle school class that I intern, and they pop their collars, and I make them put it down because they look ridiculous. Secondly, I don't care if it's the most perfect day ever. I want to see you wearing your shorts, and then wearing your jacket, your little hoodie jacket or whatever it is, but having it unzipped, like halfway down, and you're not wearing a shirt underneath. Who wears a jacket without a shirt? Okay, this is ridiculous. What are you trying to show off here? I don't care if you have like 18, 3,000 pack. If you're in the movie 300. If you were an extra in the background, you're holding up a shoe and you're like, We shall stand as a unit and fight. Tonight we die in hell. I do not care. Wear a shirt underneath your jacket or don't wear a jacket. If you're wearing a jacket without something underneath it, then obviously it's too hot to be wearing a jacket and a shirt. So obviously it's too hot to be wearing a jacket. You're stupid. Put a shirt on or take the jacket off. Walk around shirtless for however I care. Just stop looking stupid with your, look at me. I'm so sexy. Yes. Freaking retards. I sound really mean to retards today. I apologize, retards, to watch this show. These fish sticks are hard as tits. So fact, wear acceptable clothing. Use those tips. Don't be some stupid white kid wearing like a wrapper on your t-shirt or something like you're cool or something. Don't do that. That's dumb. Today's fiction is that even with my Little Wayne t-shirt on, I can fit in with these guys really well. Kinda of wondering what's going on here with the throwing of another human being. We're gonna get down with our first annual crackhead chunking competition. Oh, the first annual crackhead chunking competition. I I would have predicted that that was what that was. Well, let's see if there's any other contestants in this event. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice, that was pretty far. Let's see how far that was. 23 feet, 9 inches. How far did you throw that crack at? Uh, just 24 feet almost. Wow, that's a world record. <laughs> so much could be said. So much could be said. Uh, yo, d -Rail, what you gonna do this weekend, man? Man, I'm gonna... We're having this crackhead over, and we're gonna throw him. We're just gonna... I'm gonna throw them. Can we look at this video some more? Though? Let's look at uh, some more fine details you might have missed here. Detail one, is he actually a crackhead? Yep, he's a crackhead. On top of being a crackhead that was thrown, does he also get farted on? <laughs> yes, indeed, he did get farted on by Chris Calico. Oh, yes, indeed, it's just another day in the hood. Welcome to my hood! I wonder if that was the uh, kind of hood that DJ Khaled came from. But uh, fiction, I fit in with those guys. It's not because of the color, just because I don't throw crackheads. Someone should call the Olympic Committee, though, and have that thrown into the Olympic Games. But the Asians would suck at that. But hey, 
that's the episode. It's fact and fiction. I'm Brody. You are you. You might be Lil Wayne, but you're probably not. I hope you enjoyed learning about acceptable clothing and about learning about the new crave that's taking over the country. Crackhead chumping chompa papa chunking kapatashan. Have a great rest of your day, rest of your night, whatever it is that's the rest of whenever you watch this. Represent. Oh yeah, and today's word is foo boo for us by us. I'm a one-man band.